one VFC foul. I have to remind myself what the guy wants inside and all that stuff. Uh, there's parts to go in it, I know that much, so I'm gonna do things. Enjoy. Real furniture, but brown. Real furniture, but black. Real furniture, real furniture. DNA steel barrel. Gotta say, I don't actually know why they didn't put the steel barrel in here to start with. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but they didn't. But I've yet to work on one of these, so this is all just me fresh. There's quite a lot of aluminium on here, which I'm not a fan of. I would expect more steel. God, that is really tight. I mean, it's not falling out, which is good. Oh, this is gonna be fucking fun. So I reckon this here is thread locked in place. That is some fucking irritating shit. Now I'm gonna get all the shit out of here. Okay, now I've got to figure out how this hammer mech goes back in, which I'm gonna stop the camera for. I got hit by a fucking car yesterday. Right, you can see how much more realistic that looks now. That has a much more positive break. I am happy to see that all of that is, is steel. I mean, that's, that's awesome. That is awesome. It does look and feel fantastic, uh, which pushes me closer to buying one. That, I mean, look at it. Uh, this is part of what I do, proper realistic detailing. There's nothing worse than someone comes in and they just sand it down with some sandpaper and go, yeah, that I do, and it's like, ah, no, no, you want proper wear. You have to think. Think about where you're hanging the gun off of yourself. Are you right-handed or left-handed? So I've done more wear on the right-hand side of the trigger than I have the left-hand side of the trigger because now that is where you're more likely to get some wear. Uh, obviously the stock is still damaged, uh, it, that's the way it looks, there is no sense in trying to make it look nice anymore, so I have uh, just made this match, you know, this is all uh, brass compound and wire wool and just brushing and rubbing and oiling, and just, it takes a long time to make it look like it's had 10 years of, of use, it takes a long time. So you look at all the little brass coloured bits inside here, it's all down to the different compounds you use. Little bits like the, the this little bit of brass around here. That is brass rubbing compound. So that will leave a brassy finish. And it will wear away, but if you get that stuff in the gaps like that, it can't wear away. And it gives the whole thing a much more rustic feel. It makes the gun look so much more realistic. and. When you're doing all these fine detailings, doing it in a sloppy manner, doing it in a sloppy manner makes it look crap. I have left the original dirt on here because this dirt would be actual dirt from the place where the real stuff came from. This is how it would look. So I've left it on there, it's realistic. The same with this in here. Uh, I'm gonna keep that look, so that is gonna stay on there. That's where it's staying. Things people don't know about me, um, you see me drop a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't have feeling in uh, my fingers due to previous injury. Um, a lot of times when I cut myself, I don't know I've done it. A lot of times when I burn myself, I've got no idea I've done it. So holding on to 
a piece of red hot material can be a little bit dubious because it can very often uh, I don't know I've hurt myself until it gets to uh, <laughs> the point where it's <laughs> really bad you look there what I've done now see the burn marks from where the the, the, the ejection port, the heat, uh, any kind of residue. And that again is a combination of different rubbing compounds. And that will buff away. But it's just uh, rubbing compounds uh, mixed with the heat is going to leave that burnt effect. But yeah, I've got absolutely no feeling in my hands. Uh, certain parts of my fingers, there's just nothing. I've got no feeling. As an airsofter of many years, I am very used to this hand motion. One of you guys is going to say it. There we go, lovely. Look at that. That is crap, isn't it? And the same breakages appear on the MCX gas gun as well. I mean, that's just threaded. So it must just unscrew. So this is completely cross-threaded in. Completely cross-threaded in. You look at all the damage to the metal. The sheer amount of time this is going to take. It's hours and hours of very fine polishing. I should have started a clock going for this really. But I want this to look like steel. So I've only done the one side of this that you're going to see, and I want this to be smooth. So I've not done nuts on it. I want this to really be able to move perfectly. So, so now I'm going in with the brass compound. Everything is all clean, it's all dried out and whatever else. So now back in with the brass. Just to give it that slightly more steely effect. You can see the difference. I'll do it on this side fresh, ready? So we'll get some brass on here. like that, and I'm rubbing that into the metal. And that will adhere. That's gonna go nowhere. You can wash it off with oil, but no matter how much you rub on it, it's not just gonna come away, because it's gonna sit. Uh, it's basically like, like dry brushing something, but for the, for the crevices. See how I've done it there? If I go to this area here, and that will actually embed, see? You want it to look real, but you can see how much has come off of there, and I can get into, let's go into just this gap here. And I'm gonna polish that into the existing metal. And this will also kind of pick up on the plastic as well, but you don't really want that on the plastic. But again, it will just, you can see it's staining it. And then where you've got the charging handle part, be lots of rubbing there. So we're leaving a bit extra there. And hopefully that should disguise the crap casting. And it's not that it's bad cast, it's just a cheaper material. And I can leave that with a less than uniform finish because I've done very uniform over the rest of it. And this is what's going to leave it looking ununiform. So it doesn't look like a messy sanding job. It just looks like it's been well used. And then I can take this part here and just... Point 0.98 joule. He wants one joule. I'm happy. The mags are painted and they're one piece. It means that they don't leak as much, they're more reliable, which is good. So for every reason, yeah, uh, I've sort of polished it up a little bit. It's still black. Let's just put that where we can't see it. How's that? Now, obviously the customer supplied everything for this build. It's just my time. And it's a good five hours it's taken me to make this thing look as awesome as this does. You can see where 
the brass areas just kind of show through and it helps match it very slightly to the steel and the steel. The handguard is brown. Um, I don't hate it with a brown handguard, I just wish that it had brown and brown. Um, shit happens. It's uh, a weapon of war. I mean, it, it is a fantastic gun. It really does work well. It does work well. It pleases me to fire it. Breaking it down. Oh, it's a little bit tough to break down, admittedly. Top cover off. You can see it is all pristine inside there. It is clean as a whistle. That confused the piss out of me. I had no idea how that went back in. I was like, why can't I do this? Um, that just drops in. It, that confused the bollocks off me for so long for just no reason. You can see how I, I might put a bit more surface wear on this. It hasn't very, isn't very worn, but you can see where the burning just looks really good on it. So let's get that back in there. Like that. Done. And then down. Click. 0.99. I mean, it's just bob on. So, yes. Something needs to be done at the mag. I will see if he wants me to take the mag apart and go to town on the mag, but that's going to be a good hour of work to make that kind of match this. And he'd have to do it with all his mags. Uh, and I'll see what he wants to do. But he's going to be doing the whole a particular era of African conflict, and I can't remember which African conflict it's going to be. I'm not really one for battle-worn guns. I like them to come out the box and look how they come out the box, but uh, it does look awesome. Around here where the burning is, you know, it just, it suits it. I might do a little bit more, but it's uh, it's just cool. I'll put some up here as well, I think. Yeah. I think he's going to do the mag thing. I anticipate that as being something he's going to want to do. No, love it. Absolutely love it. 